90.3 KEXP, online at kexp.org. You're listening to Audio Oasis, the Northwest Music Show. My name is Charlize, and it's now time for live music by Nightmare Fortress on KEXP. Nightmare Fortress on KEXP.
just heard live music by Nightmare Fortress here on Audio Oasis on KEXP. You just heard A Life Worth Leaving and No Exit. Both of those songs come from an unreleased album called The Wanting, and they are being premiered here on the show tonight. Thank you guys so much for coming here. You guys are one of my most favorite live bands. I really love watching you guys on stage, especially Alicia and the lights. It's it's perfect. And right now, we're in the studio, and you guys brought the lights, so it's not a really good example, but I highly recommend the listeners checking you guys out live. Got that out of the way. All right, so, yeah. Uh, another thing, so this album, The Wanting, has is not released. I'm one of the lucky few people that has been able to hear it, and... I just want to know what's going on. I think even listeners and your fans want to know what's going on with this album. Yeah, we've been sitting on it for a few months now um, because we're trying to get some stuff in order, like some music videos, some press photos, some shows, and starting to send it to people. Hopefully we can get somebody to put it out for us. Are are things falling in line, or have you gotten... We just sort of started. We were kind of putting it off till the beginning of the new year. We wanted to focus on getting it out now. It's such a good album. Thank and you, you guys, so much. Have you guys released a single from it at all? Yeah, we did. We put out a um, song called The Perfect Feeling just kind of up on our SoundCloud and yeah. Facebook and whatnot. Um, so yeah, so that's up there if anybody wants to to hear it since it's actually a song that we're not playing today. Cool. And the, reco- the album was produced and recorded by Eric Blood, who people might know from um, working with Vox Mod, Shabazz Palaces, and The Satisfaction and Crips. How did you guys decide to work with him? Obviously. Obvious. Well, From the we, bands that I just mentioned. Yeah, we were throwing yeah. around a couple ideas, and really, he seemed the most interested in doing it with us. He really wanted to, and he had a lot of ideas for it, and so we just decided to go for it because we're huge fans of the other work he's done, yeah. and him as a musician as well. And working with him was super awesome. He was really excited about it, and so we did it. Did you guys do anything differently for this album than you did with Until the Air Runs Out? Yeah, well, we did that ourselves. So this was our That's first time. That's a big time. difference. Yeah. yeah, so this was our first time not just doing everything ourselves and working with a producer. So he would tell us yes or no or sing this harmony or I have this idea. And then how we ended up mixing it, too, was he threw a lot of his own stuff in there was that an interesting process for you guys yeah i mean i think for me like in previous bands that i've been in it was always everything was like super meticulous and really planned out and we worked with engineers that also had that same sort of mentality where you go in and you do everything perfect every time you know and like or you just do it until it's perfect and so there really wasn't a lot of room to really like experiment in the studio um and i think some of these songs we'd been playing for you know probably a year by the time we went in to record them so it was that was kind of maybe a focus specifically with working with Eric was to like have a real producer come in and hear these songs from a, a different perspective yeah. and, and just, you know, actually change things or write things in the studio and have him coming in with ideas and be like, oh, you know, I went home last night and listened to this and I, I can't get this melody out of my head. I think we should try it. And like that was that was super inspiring and, and a lot of fun. So you guys have been playing these songs for about a year but until Some before you recorded There's them? There's a mix. Yeah. yeah. Some were a long time, and then um, a few of the songs, I didn't even have lyrics till we went into the studio. Wow. So you guys are just very patient. It's a very <laughs> slow process for this album, so yeah, maybe it'll be released at the end of next year. Or the, <laughs> maybe, or the end of this year, not, I mean. but yeah. No, I think, yeah, I think we're getting to that is, point. But yeah. That's good. Yeah. Maybe I'm just antsy for you guys. Oh, no, we're antsy. <laughs> okay, because it's really good. Thank you. It's an album you can listen to from start to finish. So awesome. thank you for letting me listen to it. Thanks. Speaking of that, you guys have more songs that you are premiering tonight on the yeah. album. Cool. So let's hear them. Nightmare Fortress on KEXP.
Nightmare Fortress on KEXP.
You just heard more live music by my guest tonight, Nightmare Fortress, here on KEXP. You just heard Crusher and Morning Star. Both of those songs are also from the unreleased album, The Wanting. You guys have no show or no tours lined up, but you guys have a couple of shows that we want to mention. Tuesday, February 10th, you guys are DJing, right? Not, not or you are playing a live set. Okay. Um, at Fred Wildlife Refuge. And then Wednesday, March 18th, at the Crocodile with A Place to Bury Strangers. And so we can look forward to the album coming out this year and the music video. You guys are working on one mm-hmm. with anyone in particular? Yeah, with this guy named Andre Nihilist. I don't know his real last name, but um, <laughs> him and his production team are cutting a video for us because we let them use one of our songs for their video that they're making. So we should get that anytime. You let them use... Hint, hint. <laughs> you let them use one of your their your songs for something For else. a short film that he was making, and so he's making us a music video. Have you video. seen the short film? Nope, it's in the works, too. Do you know what it's about? Um, it's an existentialist piece, which is about just the ennui of being alive and romance. You guys are pretty romantic. Thanks. I can see why. What are you doing later? (laughs) Calling you. Cool. (laughs) Answering your phone call. (laughs) And so the video is going to be for No Exit. Yeah. And that is the opening track on the album The Wanting. It's excellent. Uh, A Life Worth Leaving is one of my other favorite songs. And all these songs are just so good. So I can't wait for the world to hear it. Thank you guys so much for coming on the show today. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Yeah. You've been listening to live music by Nightmare Fortress here on Audio Oasis 90.3 KEXP, Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.